One of the major industries here in Massachusetts is tourism. And uh, one of the major elements that helps promote and support tourism is arts and culture. And uh, we have many venues from, uh, you know, symphony halls and theaters to places like Old Deerfield and Sturbridge Village and uh, Plymouth Plantation. We have places all over the Commonwealth in the cultural sector that contribute to the vitality of our own lives here in the Commonwealth, but also are reasons for people to come and visit Massachusetts or to return to Massachusetts or to spend longer in Massachusetts when they come here for a conference or for business or, or uh, any other reason that they might come into the state. And so we uh, in Massachusetts have a very distinct history. We were the first state in the country to form a state arts council, a state agency to support cultural development. We were the first and only state in the country to have a, uh, an arts lottery. That arts lottery didn't go as well as we had hoped, but uh, nonetheless, uh, the lottery was started as a result of that, and the, uh, they've earmarked a certain amount of money every year from the regular lottery that we're all familiar with now to support uh, a network of community arts councils. We're the only state in the country that has statute that has every city and town uh, has the opportunity to form an arts council and receives a certain amount of money from the state to redistribute to artists and arts organizations in support of culture in their own communities. Uh, and so we, we've done a lot of very innovative things here in Massachusetts. And uh, one of the things that we've done recently, a new initiative, uh, was that recognizing that the arts aren't just music and art and poetry and dance and those things. It also is part of a series of other industries, architecture, uh, uh, interior design, um, computer, uh, various uh, forms uh, and, and fields that, uh, in which you're using computers, you use a lot of graphics. So graphic design, both on the computers and off the computers. So there's a series of professions that rely upon skilled people who are trained in the arts and uh, who uh, contribute elements to the success of those businesses, those industries, those jobs uh, through uh, the skills that they possess as artists. And so in Massachusetts, we've since broadened out our definition of uh, the creative economy to go beyond just the jobs that are created by museums and theaters and, and, uh, and concert halls and orchestras and, and the like. Uh, we now include and bring together the professions that also incorporate arts. And as a result, uh, we created a, uh, a council, a creative industries council, that uh, has meets periodically and has developed an agenda to advance uh, various uh, forms of new policy from tax credits to uh, new forms of training and new opportunities to try to help stimulate those other businesses that uh, uh, support uh, the arts and that arts support in turn. And uh, another effort that we've recently undertaken is to uh, see the redevelopment of uh, neighborhoods and downtowns and certain communities, whole communities, as being um, part of our arts and culture network uh, by creating new legislation that allows communities to designate uh, themselves as cultural districts by receiving approval from the State Arts Council, our Mass Cultural Council. And so uh, there are communities now all over the Commonwealth that have begun to organize and conceptualize how the arts might play a role in rejuvenating a portion of their community, whether it be a neighborhood or a particular street or a downtown, a whole downtown. All you have to do is to think about North Adams as a good example. Because Mass Mocha was developed there, they took some old uh, mill buildings and turned it into uh, probably the large, world's largest uh, modern art museum, that has completely turned around and rejuvenated those mills and that downtown and places that were sitting empty for years, unable to uh, secure tenants, are now filled with restaurants and galleries and uh, other uh, kinds of uh, shops that 
uh, have s uh, grown up as a result of there being a lot more uh, foot traffic in North Adams, a lot more visitors from all across the country who are interested in visiting Mass Mocha. And so uh, this is a, a good example of how a cultural designation as a, as a, a cultural district can uh, help communities reconceptualize and see new hope and new opportunity in a particular part of their community. And we're hoping that many, many communities across the Commonwealth will soon uh, apply for and receive designation. In our own area, uh, a notable uh, effort is going on right now up in Shelburne Falls, where the uh, folks up there are working, uh, hoping to be one of the first, if not the very first, uh, in the Commonwealth to uh, receive a designation as a, uh, a cultural district. So arts and, and culture are alive and well in Massachusetts. Uh, it's important for our own quality of life, but it's also important because arts and culture is an industry in and of itself, creating jobs directly and creating spin-off jobs throughout the economy.